After COVID, surviving several deadly natural disasters and being right in the middle of a political hotspot that was becoming increasingly violent, we decided to move on. When I saw this church for sale, I fell in love. And without any social or family connections to this place, we packed everything up and made the long journey to this remote ghost town. Although there are a few old timers and other homesteaders around, this town is mostly owned by the wild cat population. For a while we had dual residency while working to get utilities and make the house clean and safe to bring our family in. We were racing against the clock to get the basics needed to survive our first winter. There's our beautiful church and my beautiful husband admiring his beautiful church. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to find all where the light switches are at. They're in the weirdest places. Oh. So we're working on the reverse osmosis, trying to get some drinking water. And finally managed to get some pressure through it. And then this little guy popped out of the faucet. Some sort of either cricket or something. Called up there and died. Come right inside there. Oh! Did you get a little bit of water? I just need to let it build up pressure for a while. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of bleach. We want that thing to be bleached for a while. Hopefully we're doing this right. <laughs> I'm getting instructions still. So. Okay. But we'll have to buy some more filters. Yeah. We we'll probably have to ship to us. These ones do go in pretty easy though. Okay, we'll have what? to change them out a lot with how bad our water quality is here. Oh my goodness, we definitely need a new sink. I did stop the water leaking out of that one, and once I re realized that, that that was a cracked piece, I stopped the water leaking out of this one. Okay. So, gee, ah, gross. Lucy, are you the supervisor? Lucy! She's gone. Where'd she go? Lucy! Lucy! So, we're gonna go check out what's on top of. This little golf space up here. Eventually, that's going to be where our entrance is up for our towers. But there's a lot of things up there, so we're going to go explore. Tell me what's up there, babe. So, we have window shades. Window shades? Well, windows. They're really? the, the blinds that we had. Um, is there enough for all the windows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What? Okay. So, but yeah, I mean, you pretty much just lay a floor up here, and you'd have it would easily support. It's like yeah, the twelves, like two by twelves, boxed in. Does it look like it's a good job done up there? Like we could put heavy bookshelves or something up there? You could just put weight up here. That's for sure. Like after you lay the floor. What I'm mostly worried about is a lot of our lawn is this thistle, poison, yeah. stinging nettle, and it's going to be a long time before we can let our kids run around out here barefoot. So this right here is our scrap metal pile. It's just a big pile of stuff. One of the coolest things 
out here that I found. Look at that, it's a gear. Wish I knew somebody who was into metal art. Old barrel. The old lawnmower right there. Looks like some of the scrap siding right there. That right there is the kitchen down there. Looks like a burn pile. Oh my goodness, there's stuff like stuff back in there. Looks like a big canister, metal canister. Spool of wire. Look at this. This tree growing underneath the old pasture house. Engine, hay bale. This is the shed given my husband to put his junk in. And I guess before it was being used as like a chicken coop that was heated. So this is really cool. Uh, clothesline. You don't see those sitting out in people's yards anymore. And here is, you know what, that's made out of the same kind of wood, love. Yeah. So this is made out of the same kind of wood as the parish house. I'm going to come over here where there's more light and you guys can see. That's good decorative wood right there. You guys are going to see how bad it's leaning. We want to be careful about that. Okay. There's a road. Okay, so one thing we're excited about is this tank right here. This is our propane. A couple of days ago, we had no heat and it was really cold. So we're very grateful to have this tank right here. I decided that the first room I wanted to remodel was the room I thought would be the easiest. And that was to turn the old clergy office into the master bedroom. There was a lot of unfinished work in this room and throughout the entire church. Where what you found? I found what I believe to be at least the last rendition of the front doors, which are really cool. Not as cool as the current front doors, but... I don't know. Those are pretty cool, babe. These are really cool. They are very heavy duty. Try to get down close enough so you can see. Look at that. Right there. Alright guys, I'm trying to get my camera to focus. There were many other working antique doors throughout the entire church. I gotta get you in the light. Here's what's so funny. <laughs> it's daddy the bull. Okay, babe. What's happening here? Alright, so we found the power supply for the pump. So we turned that on and it looks like it's working. It's, you know, it's a little loud and obnoxious, but it seems to be doing its job. Uh, putting pressure through the line. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, let's see if it makes any difference up here. <gasps> oh my goodness! He has water. Yeah. Not a lot of not a lot of water. He's got to probably run for a, several hours. Okay, so all we have to do is wait for new filters, then, right? Yep. Okay, so once we get the new filters, we can install those, and we'll have clean drinking water. Okay, we'll probably take maybe how many more weeks? Do you think? No. Oh no, Amazon Prime has been doing pretty good for yeah. us. <laughs> we just need to yeah, order a package of these. And okay. Yeah, this one is the uh, one that was in it. It was kind of... Totally busted. Yeah. Way busted. Okay. We're doing good. So that means we're only maybe a week or two away from having clean drinking water, right? I believe so. Okay. You, know, you can't take over a 120-year-old church without a couple lost treasures finding their way sticking around. 
the cross. This is like an outside decoration. I think it'd be really cool if we cleaned this up and did a new finish on it, make it look really pretty. Yeah. So we also found this banner. Very old. It's hand stitched. We thought that was kind of a fun thing to find in a church. And this looks like. Does that look like petrified wood too? I think that is petrified wood. Yeah. So this is a tree that literally has turned to rock over the years. So it's a probably a couple hundred thousand year old piece of tree. Okay. So that's a neat little piece of ancient history. Hey. So this is for. We have the hymn numbers, so they went over like how many people attend and how many were here last week and you know the offering plate. So this is a really cool attendance and offering. You know, I've not actually seen one of these before, so that's really cool. Yeah, I think this okay. one is our favorite. This one definitely is our favorite thing that we found in the church. Okay. That's so the Last Supper portrait, but it's just a really beautiful painting. Looking forward to it. We're going to hang this up probably in our library and just keep it up.